Guinean passport. Nigerian constitution allows Tenable to hold world citizenship. Fashola says, welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. To get notified when we post our juicy news updates, please click on the notification bell. The Minister of Works and Housing, Babatunde Raji Fashola, says the Nigerian constitution permits President-elect Bola Ahmed Tenable to have dual citizenship. The Minister of Works and Housing, Babatunde Raji Fashola, says the Nigerian constitution permits President-elect Bola Tenable to have dual citizenship. After Mr. Tenable gaining diplomatic passport surface on social media, internet users went into a frenzy over how the president-elect of African largest economy lied to the nation's electoral commission while on the oath. I know he carries a Nigerian passport. I don't know about dual citizenship. I know he resided abroad when he went into exile, stated Mr. Fashola, a former, a former Lagos governor, on Channel televisions on Sunday. He added, I don't know if they gave him an American citizenship. What does that have to do with the result of the election? The last time I checked, I think the Nigerian constitution allows it to have dual citizenship, doesn't it? The dual citizenship dimension, which has cost Mr. Tenable to trend for hours on Twitter, would likely dominate public chatter and amid an ongoing election petition tribunal because of potential legal actions that would be instituted over constitutional violations. Section 1371A of the Nigerian Constitution says a president will not be qualified if to be president if he has voluntarily acquired the citizenship of a country other than Nigeria. Nonetheless, the courts have repeatedly interpreted that the section of the Constitution is inapplicable to Nigerian born or citizen born to either a Nigerian parent or both parent. The federal court interpreted the Constitution as forbidding from becoming governor or president only people who were born to foreign parents, naturalized as Nigerians, and then obtained citizenship of a third country other than Nigeria and the original country of birth. Bukola Saraki was a two-term governor in Kwara State, despite carrying British citizenship, and went on to serve as the Senate president. But the charge of perjury still limbs over Mr. Terenbu, who, in his form EC9 application for the presidency, told the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, that he never obtained citizenship of another country. Mr. Terenbu took no in response to, have you voluntarily acquired citizenship of another country posed by INEC in the form? He also appended his signature on the form, swearing that the information given on the form was correct, true, and to the best of his knowledge. And to the best of his knowledge. While it may not be an issue with that Mr. Turimbo, who was born in Nigeria, carries dual nationality, he's expected to fight to extricate himself of perjury charges that would likely be brought against him. Mr. Turimbo faced a similar legal conundrum shortly after he was elected governor of Lagos in 1999. He had made false claims about pre attending primary and secondary schools, about presenting any evidence of such. He also claimed to have attended University of Chicago, which also turned out first. However, he was not charged because he was already a serving governor and had constitutional immunity from criminal prosecution. He also claimed at the time that he did not knowingly make false claims on the annex document, saying it was filed out on his behalf by his political ally, Tokombo Afikuyumi. Mr. Afikuyumi probably admitted filling the forms to Mr. Tunumbu, saying he made him as principal attended the course. Now, the thing is, I, don't, I do not understand what is going on here. Is this really the case? As in, uh, is this really necessary? That is what I'm saying. Is this really necessary? All this one, I'm waiting to go down check. Since it is a general rule, but not for purpose of vying for the office of president. I sincerely hope this matter gets filed in court. These politicians are out of the trail hard end democracy. If the country burns, they'll never care. Hmm. Uh -huh. And they were attacking Peter B during campaigning, saying he's a US citizen. Therefore, he should be disqualified until it was clear that he doesn't have it. Well, all I'm saying is that I think, like I said, what I've learned from this election is make sure your hands are clean. Make sure you're doing, you're going by the book. Make sure your hands are not stained. Make sure, say, all you know, your hands will go stain and, if, and your body safe go. Talk less of another person. Yes, having a dual citizenship is okay, but not for the office of the Nigerian president. So Bola and Metsurem will have to explain that the court should look into this and follow the rightful process. The due process of our constitution, these politicians are taking us for a ride, and I'm taking us as if we know nothing. Every negative thing about Tunumbu is good. In fact, it does not matter at all. Wait, I'm confused, guys. Is Tunumbu really from Guinea? Maybe that is why he couldn't even beat them in our last match. Why are you people like this? 
Have you voluntarily in the past changed nationality? Guinea Fowl said no. Can you imagine? Let's confirm whether he has dual citizenship first, then allow the court to determine. Exactly. At this point in time, me, I'm saying all oh, this one is necessary. Why? Because now waiting, INEC supposed to find out. INEC, they failed in their duty. Sincerely, what this is showing, they failed in their duty. Don't assume. You'll be INEC staff if you go. Question we're supposed to ask. If you be, what's it? If you personally say they can't pick form. If you don't you know, understand question, you open your mouth, ask as well. And you guys went and be playing against Guinea, a country of your president select, and Nigerians were expecting to win the match. Well, now they get respect for your elders. Why are you people like this? <laughs> How is this now? How is this supposed to sound funny? How does one just sound funny to now? You see why I don't bother watch to watch the news live yesterday? Because I was expecting this rubbish talk. They don't have any good, any good thing to say when they're on national television. Trimble did not have any dual citizenship but multi-citizenship. And become a president with dual citizenship. This country self may could not divide it a big. Okay. Guinea is a cocaine trafficking hub. My question is, why is Asiwa Jibola and Metro in Butler in Guinea? What is it defined for there? Maybe my man's not going to more. All I'm saying, like I said before, this thing no concern. Maybe the matter of um, this is not a matter of uh, how do I even put it? It's not a matter of um, uh, in no concern us. This thing are waiting. I neck go don't use the hand. Find it, then fight, finish, then do it. In. You know, then 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 sort their issues out. Tell them whether you go fit contest or not. So nobody is fake and everything about him is fake and it's living a fake. It's living a fake. It is only in Nigeria that people can come to TV show and to shamelessly defend evil. Similarly, one to, section 124 of the Evidence Act provides that any person who makes a false statement on oath or affirmation in any judicial proceeding or in any affidavit, disposition of such a de declaration, commits perjury and is liable to imprisonment for up to seven years. But I met Tunbu may be charged with perjury and sentenced to imprisonment if it is proven that he provided false information about his citizenship status in INEC ECN and declaration. Well, I don't talk um, this one no matter we say we're supposed to look into. Not even it's not even supposed to get to the tribunal because now as uh, what's it called? Now as um, as uh, how, how do I even put it now? Now as so the submit form, then they follow they're supposed to have I've said it before, they're supposed to have what I call uh, um they're supposed to have what I call uh, uh, um how, what do I even call it? He's supposed to have what I call a background, what's the called, but check. Anything where you come, your documents, everything, so that at the end of the day, eh? at the end of the day, it is not later, later, you start finding out. Immediately, immediately, if you're not, uh, you're not uh, qualified to contest for a position, they find it out immediately and they sort it out. All right, on this note, you've come to the end of the news. We say thank you for telling me to listen. Until I come your way next time, enjoy the rest of your day.